So every morning when I wake up, I'm just so grateful that I know the nature of my mind. I open my eyes and I look at my clock, one of the first things to do, and I see the time it is. And immediately there's a barrage of thoughts. I didn't sleep long enough. I wish I would have slept longer. How's my day gonna unfold now that I only had five hours, six hours, seven hours sleep? And I had the expectation that I wanted to have eight hours sleep. And if I have eight hours sleep, then I'll be fine. <laughs> All will be well. I'll have a great day, active, alive, potent, powerful, and yet I've had five hours. What am I going to do now? And right there is a great opportunity to allow that to be as it is. Not dive into the data stream, the thoughts, emotions, and sensations about the experience. I don't dive into that anymore. I allow it to be as it is and see that it naturally resolves without anything needing to be done. And this is the nature of all data streams, all thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. They just vanish naturally without anything needing to be done, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. And so the nature of mind, open intelligence, which is what we term it here in Balanced View, Open intelligence, which is at the basis of all data streams. That which is unaffected by how much sleep it's had. Unaffected by any data, any expectation of how things should be, how I should be, how my day should look based on how much sleep I've had. All these stories that I've built up for myself my whole life, and especially about sleep, they just disappear naturally. There's nothing I need to do but I've attributed it an independent nature to the data streams, which has really just reinforced this idea that I need a certain amount of hours of sleep a day to be happy, to be comfortable, to be potent and get the most out of myself. And in this training, we're introduced to open intelligence. That at the basis of all data streams, always on, alive, potent, ready for action, and always stable. And we can introduce that to ourselves right now simply by stopping thinking. Just for a moment, just stop thinking. What remains? There is this sense of alertness, this openness, your power to know. And this is always on. And we tap into this just naturally, short moment by short moment. So stopping thinking is just a perfect way to introduce ourselves to open intelligence. But then the thoughts flood back into our experience. And yet open intelligence is still there. And by simply taking short moment by short moment, we gain assurance and confidence that that is the case. Because thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, people, places and things, they're just constantly going to arise in our experience. And yet we have a choice now. Do we go with that life of living from the head of a pin, as Candace has shared before, just hunkering down into that dictionary definition of the data stream? Or do we open it to definition up? and let it potentiate in our experience whilst relying on open intelligence. Because what we come to see is that open intelligence is inseparable from the data streams, like reflections in a mirror. They are inseparable. So we can now allow all data streams to come into our experience regardless of what they are, the positive, the negative or the neutral. All are welcome because we're living from the vantage of open intelligence. And through the practice of short moments, the sole practice of balanced view, we gain assurance that this is the case, short moment by short moment. So really it becomes our responsibility how we live our life. And it always has been our responsibility. But at times we may have expected other people to do the work for us or blamed other people for how we feel about ourselves and the world. I know I definitely lived like that, and that was 
a cause of confusion and tension and dis-ease. And here we're empowered to take responsibility for ourselves, how we want to show up to relationships, how we want to respectfully relate with others, with our body, speech and mind, our qualities and activities. This is a radical way to live, to step into our power. And that's what I loved from the moment I, I met this training, that I was given the power. It didn't come from anywhere else. The power of open intelligence, innate to us all, our birthright is given to us through the practice of short moments and the four mainstays. And we get to know this power, we get acquainted to it through the practice of short moments and also using the support of the four mainstays, which is the support structure of Balanced View, which is always just pointing us back that to the, we being the power. And it's always available to us. So now my life looks completely different because there's no longer this victimization. There's no longer this blaming others for my thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. I simply take responsibility for my life. So all relationships have transformed because of this. Because it's not about how other people need to act or need to speak or need to be. Quite simply, everyone can be as they are because I allow myself to be as I am. And I've never done that before. Imagine allowing yourself to be as you are. What would that be like? And getting to know that about ourselves, we see we're just really powerful, very cool people. <laughs> we're just the people we've always wanted to be. And we just get to know that about ourselves, this cool and relaxed nature that's always present totally at the basis of all data streams. And short moments is our button that we press to tap into that cool and relaxed nature, that powerful and potent nature. And so we have trainings available that are always just pointing us back to these incredible qualities that we have innate to us that we don't need to accumulate from anywhere else. They're just innate in our experience. So the one-day trainings that we offer, the four-day trainings that we offer, the 12 empowerments trainings that we have, all just nurturing this open intelligence, what is primary. Not trying to teach us that we need to rearrange our thoughts, emotions and sensations. That game is old school. We want something that works, and we want something that works right here, right now. And so we test out the practice of short moments. We show up to these trainings that are just supporting us to recognise this about ourselves. We can request to have a trainer, someone who has gone before us, who has, has that assurance and that confidence that we can borrow when things are looking a little bit shaky. What they're showing us is that there's no shakiness. Open intelligence is unshakable. So we just pour everything into this relationship. And we, when we do so, we see great things come alive for us. We say we're willing to, to step up into our powers of great benefit. An amazing feature of open intelligence being the context of how we live our life, of complete benefit to ourselves and others. And the trainers I know have always been demonstrating this and that's why I keep on showing up because people are always just showing up in a way that they're no longer a victim to their data streams. I'd never experienced that before. So the trainers have just gone before us and then we have this amazing community which is the fourth mainstay that are also living like this. So it takes it out of the abstract because we get to see real people living in this real way, this authentic and genuine way not trying to be anyone else other than themselves. That's why I keep on showing up. The thoughts don't align with me being here. <laughs> and that's completely perfect as it is. And everyone's living in that, in that way, perfect as they are. So the four mainstays just totally support us in this 
lifestyle of great benefit to ourselves and others. So focusing firstly on myself and training up and gaining that assurance and confidence has been a wild ride, but I've always used this rock solid support of the four mainstays, regardless of the doubt or the resistance. I always go back there because what I'm seeing demonstrated in others. And so role modeling is so essential and we've all had role models in our life. And now we have an endless array of role models living from the vantage of open intelligence, but in their own unique way, in their own style. And everyone's getting to know that about themselves. Everyone's getting to know their strengths, gifts and talents and aren't worrying about the doubts and the fears and the concerns and the worries about how they feel about themselves. Old school. We're moving forward. We're relying on open intelligence, allowing ourselves to be as we are, stepping into our power. Just look around and you get to see it so powerfully in the, in the community here. A community here in India, but all over the world. Face to face, we're meeting like this. Online, we're meeting like this. All just sharing a common language. Open intelligence, inseparable from data. Free to be as we are.